Hi everybody, my name is Guy Azai and um, I'm a cheeseaholic. I love cheese and um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a vegan. Yeah, it's complicated, I'm gonna get to that in a bit, but first, dear vegetarians, I'm gonna make this real quick because this is gonna be easy as shit. Easier than me sitting here in this lawn chair right now. Oh, really gonna mow your lawn now, mother? Okay, so like I was saying, vegetarians, that's some good news for you guys. You've already taken the first and biggest step to where you want to be. You've cut the corpses out of your diet, and you're probably already feeling a lot better uh, mentally and physically as a result. But just in case, let me give you guys some uh, mad props there. Okay, uh, yeah. A fist bump, a pound, a terrorist fist jab. The gesture everyone seems to interpret differently. We'll show you some interesting body communication and find out what it really says. Okay, so let's work on the next step. And you know what, this is actually gonna be some pretty hard work, so uh, you might wanna warm up some, you might wanna stretch a bit. Okay, if it's your cravings for cheesecake that's holding you back, let me tell you how we're gonna replace that. With cheesecake. Yeah, that's right, vegans got fucking amazing cheesecake. Fucking amazing. Do I look like I'm lying? I don't think so. All right, what's next? This is getting hard. Do you love pizza? Who doesn't? Wouldn't take that shit to the next level. I don't know if anyone's told you what time it is yet, but this is the 21st century. You can have some of that flavor, healthier, better ingredients, not hurt animals for it, and eat your pie at the same time too. All right, you had enough pizza yet? You ready for dessert? What about ice cream? <laughs> Motherfucker said ice cream. <laughs> Dudes, I'm making a video here. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised to hear that even all my non-vegan friends agree that coconut-based ice cream is straight up superior in terms of flavor to cow ice cream. How could it be? And health-wise, the first ingredient is a fruit, what one might even call a super fruit. And unlike dairy, it comes without the added blood, pus, PCBs, dioxins, and heavy amounts of estrogen, which can throw off your body's natural hormone balance regardless of gender. And FYI, that's animal estrogen easily absorbed into the body of another animal, like you. Unlike the phytoestrogen that people are terrified about in plants, which is probably why vegan men have higher testosterone levels than the grown-ass babies who still suck from the breast of someone else's mama. Well, you drink skim milk, don't you? No, I drink no milk. Do you drink any milk at all? No milk, no. Milk is for babies. <laughs> when you grow up, you have to drink beer. What about baked goods? Ah, change up that, hmm. For a little bit of... Mm. Alright, game time, yo. Let's play spot the difference. Oh shit, is that the same picture? Oh no, that's the right one. Okay, one of these is vegan, and one isn't. Hmm? 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 Okay, maybe if we rewind a bit, uh, see where it came from. Okay, but let me be honest here. There is something in dairy that you're not going to find in any vegan cheese or milk products. Other than the pus. Gotta get your pus. And that's the fact that cow cheese actually has addictive compounds in it that probably evolved to get a baby cow to keep drinking so he or she can gain hundreds of pounds over a short period of time. Hold up. So you mean to tell me that milk isn't good for weight loss and overall health? But all those celebrities the dairy industry paid millions of dollars to to wear fake mustaches promised me it was. How could celebrities lie to me? I mean, they're famous. Yeah, it's a mad world out there. However, if you want to keep going with that whole addictive substances thing, there's still some other alternatives for you even if you ditch dairy. For example, there's crack cocaine, crystal meth, alcohol. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? Don't tell people to do crystal meth. Have you lost your fucking mind? Okay, so he's got a good point. Don't smoke crack. Um, crystal meth will kill you. Alcohol, you know, moderation. But just like crystal meth does a lot more than just fuck up your face a bit, dairy isn't just a huge cause of a lot of people's acne. It can also increase your risk of heart disease and diabetes. You might also be amongst the 15% of Caucasians, 50% of Latinos, 30 to 70% of Indians, 80% of Africans, and 90 plus percent of Asians that are actually lactose intolerant. A lot of you are probably eating dairy anyway and not realizing that a lot of your digestive issues, flatulence, bloating, might be because despite the fact that you inadvertently paid someone to steal a baby away from his mother and then steal the milk meant for that baby to put on your pizza, you're still not a baby cow. Hey everybody, check out my new app for all iPhones and Androids. It's called Snapcaf. It allows you to instantly find out whether you're a baby cow or not. And um, if you're not, and you're a fully grown primate like me, 
Uh, maybe you should consider doing what your ancestors did and eat more of what grows on trees and what grew in the earth. I right, thanks. Peace. And in case you think I'm nuts for drawing a connection between hard drugs and good old hearty milk and cheese, dairy consumption can also have consequences that end up being fatal, like cancers of the reproductive system, prostate, and breast cancer. All right, so I get the point. Dairy isn't good for you unless you're a baby cow looking to gain a few hundred pounds. But so what? Don't eat it often and you'll be fine. I mean, as long as you don't eat cows, if you're just taking a little bit of the milk meant for their babies, then no, no mother or father or, or, or baby cow is gonna get hurt, right? Wrong. Jesus, that escalated quickly. Man, I know Arnold wants people to eat fewer animals for the sake of uh, preventing the climate apocalypse, but y you become a vegan extremist already? Man, the world is changing fast. See, even though vegetarians are trying to do the right thing by not eating animals directly, the fact is the dairy industry is the meat industry. Almost every single dairy cow that you will ever buy milk that came from ends up being killed for meat. So if you're vegetarian, you might want to think about this, because at least when you're being raised for meat, you're just raised for meat and killed. But when you're a dairy cow, you are sexually exploited and emotionally and physically exhausted until you can't take it anymore, and then you're killed for meat. Sounds worse to me. Okay, now some of you are probably thinking dairy itself isn't a problem. It's factory farming. I get my milk from a smiley face farm where they massage their cows and hug their babies real tight right after they steal them from their mommies. And everyone whistles down a yellow brick road happily into the sunset. Wait, where are they taking those cows? Now if you're like me when I was vegetarian and you're like, I don't know if I could go all the way plant-based. What if I grow breasts and I get really weak? Watch that video I sent to Arnold and stop being scared of plants already. If you're still not convinced that it's time to ditch dairy, then I'd like to challenge you. I quadruple dare you. If you have any guts in your guts to watch the entire five minutes of this video before you ever give another penny to the dairy industry. Are you scared? Don't be scared. It's just a glass of milk. Okay, so what about eggs? Yeah, eggs is a little more challenging to replace or was a little more challenging until about 2015 or so. But welcome to the future, motherfuckers. If your health food store doesn't carry it, there's some recipes down below for all sorts of egg replacement alternatives. Now, I know you might be skeptical, but if the flavor isn't 100% identical, like the way it already is with vegan chicken, at the end of the day, we're talking about a flavor here. There's millions of delicious flavors in this world. And you mean to tell me that it's necessary to crush a baby bird to death and lock his mom in a cage for a short, miserable life just to get one specific flavor that isn't even special in any way, that clogs up the arteries in your heart, and for the dudes out there, your penises, when there's 10,000 other things you could have for breakfast. If you still think eating eggs is healthy in any way, I'm gonna let Vegan Gaines explain that shit to you empirically because he specifically addresses the misinformation used to spread that misconception. And as a veteran troll slayer, he'll equip you with a lot of the arsenal you'll need to defend yourself from the flood of ignorant comments you're gonna get when you make the insane decision to leave torture and death off your plate. You're crazy, man. Nobody even knows what you're gonna do next. Quick invasion update. If all the approximately 400 million vegetarians in the world were to instantly keep eating milk, cheese, and ice cream and just switch up your sources, we'd have the numbers to make all kinds of gains worldwide that would result in massive and positive changes, not just for animals, but for the climate crisis, for dealing with world hunger, and for escalating healthcare costs. Okay, I think you're getting the point here. Keep doing what you're doing, just leave the baby cows alone. You could reward yourself with a trip to hang out with them at your local sanctuary, and I'm pretty sure that'll seal the deal. If you're watching this and you're not vegetarian or vegan, and you still eat animals, but you think about maybe making that switch, you should totally subscribe because I'm making a video for you personally right now, specifically for all the meat lovers out there, including me. If you're watching this and you are vegetarian or vegan, you should totally subscribe because psh, That's it. Guy is eye out. Go hug a cat.